All right, so this is a tip that every one of you can use, I'm sure, assuming that you create things that have words in them, okay? So, and I'm gonna race through 10 steps that are really technical, really geeky, and I'm gonna do it really fast. So just get the gist of this, and I'll put the rest in a blog post, okay? <laughs> so, here we go. So, um, wouldn't it be nice if we could like type two dashes and have it turn into an M dash automatically, like Word? <clears throat> or um, if we could type, um, uh, you know, just type RBM and have it spit out Ronco Basomatic yes. with the trademark, with the register mark in it. Ooh. And, you know, just type copyright and have it put this phrase in or whatever. That would be awesome. And you're thinking, but Keith, we can do that. We've got autocorrect. And indeed we do, if you go into preferences and autocorrect, you can replace one word with another phrase, whatever, but you can't put any special characters in there. Or can you? You can, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first, the way that you do this is you come in here and you add one autocorrection. And I'll just say, look for Z and replace it with ZZ. It makes no difference, just something. You have to add something. Okay, out of that. Next thing is to go to the info panel and select each of the characters that you're gonna to try to create and look at the Unicode value right here. Don't let that scare you, you just write it down on a piece of paper. Then you check this one and that's 2122 and this one's you know, AE, whatever. You just write those down, okay? Because you gotta remember them. Next step is to go to your scripts panel, don't be scared of that. Find your user folder, right click on it and say reveal in finder. That shows you a folder back up above that to the autocorrect folder and you'll see a little XML file. Don't let that scare you either. So then you just th take that and open that up in any text editor and you go to the very bottom, it looks scary but it's really not, at the very bottom you find that ZZZ thing and just delete it because that was just a temporary placeholder and then you start typing some stuff and you don't want to watch me type stuff so I'm going to copy that stuff that I just magically saved off to the side and just paste it in here. But you would type these. You would basically look at what's above and replicate it. And so like this is saying look for two dashes and replace it with that Unicode number that you wrote down. And then find, you know, anytime you type copyright, replace it with the Unicode value for the copyright symbol and everything else. And then when you're done, you close that, save it. So oh, I'm running out of time. And then you go to InDesign and you quit InDesign. And this is gonna be painful because it takes a minute to start InDesign back <laughs> up again. But you have to quit or it doesn't work, okay? You got three so seconds. So I should get like eight seconds credit. Okay. <laughs> but it's so cool. When it you're is. done, when you're done, it just works. It just works. And so I have to go back to autocorrect though. I'm sorry. I have to go back here and you have to toggle it on and off for it to kick in. And really? And now it will work. That's interesting. So now I can type in RBM and it puts in Ronco Basomatic <laughs> and I can put in two hyphens and it all makes right. an M dash. Excellent. That's all there is to it. Excellent. Well, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials. And I hope someday we'll see you in person at the InDesign conference. Thanks for learning with us.